Hi, this is Jenny with Simply Beautiful Crafts on behalf of Expert Village, and today we're going to make this stunning winter wreath. To make this wreath, I started out, of course, with my pretzel ring, and I found a pick with these wonderful silvery green leaves and these beautiful shiny flowers on them. I took the pick, and as you can see, I pretty much demolished it. I cut all the leaves off, and I cut all the flowers off. The first thing I did was to put the leaves around. As you can see, these are the smaller leaves that came from this pick. I put them around on the top, usually putting one to the inside and then one to the outside. Leave, before you do that, if you're going to use ribbon, you want to weave it through. But when you completely cover your wreath like this, you don't need to weave ribbon through your wreath. So I put them inside, outside, inside, outside. Then when I had it the way I liked it, I said, okay, that's good enough. And I took my hot glue gun, put a little bit of glue on the back of the leaf, put it into the hole just a little bit to secure it. And then I put some around underneath so that it also came from behind, giving it a thicker, fuller 3D effect. As you can see, I just went halfway around also because I didn't want it to be completely symmetrical. Then I placed the little flowers on it, and it took me a while to come up with how I wanted it, but I have my three, my two, my two, and my two. Once I had those on there, I took the hot glue, and I simply put it on the end of the flower and stuck it in where I wanted it. Then I used this little pick and cut off all of the little pine cones and put the pine cones two by two. I decided against using the little red um bead because I didn't really want it to be Christmas. I really wanted it to be winter. I found these wonderful little tiny miniature ornaments. So I took those and I just clipped the thread off of it and nestled them around. Then for the end, I made a little chevron and put it down first. And then I made a multiple loop bow, placed that on top of it, and then placed the little cardinal right on top of the bow. The very last thing you want to do is have something to secure it. And in this case, I used a little bit from the top of the miniature ornament and secured it so it's very unobtrusive. And there you have it, a very beautiful, classy winter wreath. 